This is Lynette, featured designer video, take one. Medio Designs and welcome to my Sweet Shop Designs Featured Designer Top 10 video. Um, in this video I'm going to share a list of my top 10 favorite things. One of the things I'm no known for is my monthly faves layouts and so I thought it might be fun to do kind of an August sneak peek with my list for my video. So I have my list handy. Ta-da! Um, but before I dive into the list, one of the things I get asked about a lot is how do I remember my faves? Do I write them down? Do I do anything special during the month? And the answer is, for the most part, no, not really. This is about it. I wrote this down today. Um, <laughs> uh, usually I just, when it's time doing my faves layout, I will write everything down, the ideas I have, and if I need a few more, or I want to see what else we did that month, I'll usually open up Aperture, which is my photo organization program. And I will kind of browse through my iPhone photos and the photos I've taken with my regular camera and look and see if there's anything interesting in there that I could add as a fave. Um, I think faves are pretty easy for me because I tend to get excited about really stupid stuff. So if you're somebody who has a really hard time getting excited about things, um, then it might be more challenging. But for me, I usually am like, yes, that's a fave. And so it gets added to my list. So, um, yeah, let's uh, dive in, I guess. So, uh, number one on my list for my August faves would be our bright and sunny apartment, which I'm currently sitting in. I'm in our master bedroom in a lovely chair I borrowed from the living room. And uh, yeah, it's great. Um, our house in San Antonio was really dark and cave-like and it drove me crazy. And so when we moved to Houston back in May, one of the things I said I was really looking for was lots and lots of light and I'm pretty sure that every apartment complex we went to thought we were crazy because the first thing I'd be like is there enough light and I'd go around and be like opening curtains and turning off lights to see if there actually was enough natural light coming in because I really didn't want to be in a place where I had to have lights on overhead all the time. So that was number one. Okay so number two <laughs> would be uh, summer hair which I've got going on here. I don't know if you can see I've got kind of a twist here with a little ponytail. Um, it's hot here and humid. I went to the grocery store earlier today and I thought it might melt. So I've been trying to embrace, kind of just letting my hair do its thing. It tends to be kind of curly and a little crazy and it's really thick. So trying to blow dry it or flat iron it or anything like that in the summer is just not going to happen. So I'm trying to get a little fancier with my regular ponytails, things like that. So that's number two. Um, number three is actually scrapbooking related and it happens to be my new um, Adorama Pix photo book which I happen to have handy. Um, I just I don't know if you follow but I've been doing a summer love free summer love mini course like for mini albums on my blog at nettiodesigns.com and this is the end result of my album. I went ahead and got a Adorama Pix photo book done for it which I had never ordered from them before. Um, this is the six by six size if you kind of see it it's really nice it has the, it's really firm has like the cover is kind of a metallic-y shimmer I'm not sure if you can see that but the coolest thing is that pages in it are actually lay flat so if you open it you can see there's no like real binding in the middle kind of blocking the pages like they do in a normal book which is really cool for kind of having the pages for scrapbooking stuff so you can kind of see it I'll tell you a funny story I got the book and I'm looking at the last page and I don't know if you can see, there's like a little crease here and I'm like, oh, what happened to the page? And then I realized that the uh, crease is actually on the digital paper. So uh, yeah, I felt a little stupid at that point. But yeah, this is my summer book. I've never ordered from them. It's a little pricey, but highly recommended. I'm really impressed with the quality of that. So that was fave number three. Um, let's see, fave number four is the return of Project Runway. Any other Project Runway fans? I'm a huge fan of pretty much any kind of reality TV show competition, Top Chef, Project Runway, pretty much I watch all of them. And so I'm really glad that it's back. I'm really enjoying this season so far. It's been pretty crazy with um, Sando, the Russian dude, I think, like com complete flip out and breaking cameras and stuff. I'm still trying to decide on my favorite person. I think 
Right now I'm leaning a little bit towards Dom. I think she's got a really cool style. Really, probably no surprise, I really liked her chevron kind of inspired striped dress uh, last week. So yeah, um, so that's number four. Let's see, number five is all things gold. <laughs> I think this is really trendy right now, but I am on the bandwagon. Uh, you can see got kind of a gold necklace going on here and have some gold sandals that I've been wearing a lot. Um, been buying some gold stuff for the house, which is weird because I just feel like normally I, you know, wouldn't really be that into gold, but for some reason I'm really liking it lately. So yeah, that's uh, number five. Let's see. Number six is a Lima Pure uh, Mineral Makeup. Uh, this is a little sample size of it. It's got a cute little bird on it. But uh, I have been looking for a mineral makeup for a while just because it's light and good for summer and stuff. And I had tried Bare Minerals and my skin hated it. And so I kind of gave up on it for a while. And I had heard about this company and they're really known for having really pure minerals. And so I was like, okay, well, I'll give it a try. Uh, I really like it. It's great. It's been really, like, I think my skin is actually better since I started using it, which is always nice with the makeup because sometimes that's not the case. Um, okay, so let's see. That was number six. Let's see. Number seven is a uh, homemade lemonade. I have a picture of this. Uh, one of the items on my summer bucket list was to make homemade lemonade. And so here's a, a picture from my album. It was This was my number nine summer love in my mini album. The funny thing is, we Adam and I went to Target to get lemons because we didn't want to go to the grocery store, and they only had five lemons total in their grocery section. So this is all of the lemonade that it made. That was the whole amount. Um, it was tasty, but it didn't even really fill a full glass. This is like a eight ounce glass, so it was, what, maybe six ounces or something? So I don't know if I would, would call that a lemonade success, but the little bit we made was good. We had to share it, but, you know, pretty tasty still. Um, let's see. Number eight on my list is more food stuff. It's a Yeti Sunshine Shaved Ice, which is a local food truck here in Houston. Um, I don't eat dairy, so I'm always looking for desserts that I can eat, and so I've really become hooked on shaved ice. And I especially really love, like, natural flavors of shaved ice, where they've use like fruit and things like that as for their syrups as opposed to like kind of that really fakey sugary stuff. And so there's a um, this place, Yeti Sunshine, is they have this really adorable little like Yeti logo <laughs> and they have this food truck and we went over the weekend and it was delicious. I'm pretty, I'm standing there eating it and Adam's still in line paying and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so good. And like, like <laughs> he looks at me like I'm kind of crazy. See, get excited about really silly things but yeah if you ever come to Houston and you're looking for shaved ice that's that's where you want to go um let's see number nine is uh FaceTiming with Adam who would be my husband if you don't know uh <laughs> he's been traveling we're um, he's in the military so we're no strangers to being apart but he's been traveling for work more and this is the first time we've ever really been able to kind of communicate while he's been gone you know not through a phone on the other half of the world, the other side of the world, or satellite phone, or really terrible internet, and so we've been having a lot of fun doing like FaceTime. I think we're probably both total dorks on it, and we probably spend more time kind of looking at ourselves doing stupid stuff. But it's been fun, and I think it's like a really neat way to be able to kind of connect with people, kind of like this video. I think like somehow video just kind of seems so much more personal than just talking on a regular telephone or chatting online or whatever so it's kind of nice to be able to mix it up while he's gone and not have it be like oh see you in a week or whatever each time so that was number nine um and then my final one number 10 would be evening walks around our neighborhood can't show you our neighborhood but <laughs> um, we live in an apartment complex but we are right next to a really neat older neighborhood that has a ton of like these really amazing big tall trees and so we've been really enjoying kind of walking through there in the evenings. Um, it's still warm here in the evenings, but it's like tends to be in like the 80s, so it's not too bad, a little humid still, but it's been really nice to kind of get out of that apartment and walk around and kind of explore and just kind of relax and have quality time. And so yeah, that was my uh, number 10 favorite thing for August right now. So uh, that pretty much wraps up my list. Um, <laughs> I will say that since it's only mid-August, there's a chance that by the time I do 
my faves lay out at the end of the month that I might have some new faves. But that's what I've got right now. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you later. Bye. Let's do it. Do some dancing.